Hi church family, this is Margie Mayer. I'm just gonna spend a couple minutes with you today. Um, my title is Overflowing Joy. Um, and to be honest with you, sometimes when I get ready to do my devotion, it's just like, okay, Lord, I really don't know what, um, what you're gonna have me teach on or talk about or whatever. And um, the last few days, I kind of feel like I've had a lack of joy and um, just kind of looking at that. So I was looking at scriptures to, to um, bolster myself back up. So that's what we've got today. But let's say a prayer. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for your word. We thank you that your word uh, does bring us joy. And um, Lord, I just pray that as we walk with you, that we can show the world the joy that you give us. And we just ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I don't know if I said it or not, but my title is Overflowing Joy. My first um, scripture is in Psalms 28, 7, and it's in the New Living Translation. And it says, the Lord is my strength and my shield. I trust him with my whole heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. Jesus wants us to have a joy that is so full, so real, so genuine, so overflowing that we can't help it, we can't keep it to ourselves. John 15, 11 in the New Living Translation also says, I have told you these things so that you may be filled with joy. Yes, your joy will be overflowing. We do live in a world where anxiety, depressions, weariness, and disappointments try to usurp our joy. And there are times that it is a true battle not to fall under these pressures. But God, my favorite two words, but God. I believe he wants to take those burdens away and he is willing to bring us back to full, a fullness of joy. John 15, 4 reminds us that if we continually remain in him and in his word, we will bear good fruit. And I think joy is a good fruit. Our joy seems to uh, feel, when our joy seems to feel depleted, now, uh, remember what John 10:10 10, 10 in the New King James says, the thief comes not, uh, the, just, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come to, I have come that you may have life and that life more abundantly. Let Jesus fill your cup with joy, his joy. Stay connected in him and let him know when you need to refill. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the fullness of joy of just knowing who you are, being in your presence, and being able to share when um, we need um, that, that cup filled up and that you are there to um, gladly fill up our cup. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.